Welcome to the Notion Pro, I'm Jared, and today we're gonna to build a contacts database for managing your contacts in Notion. Now, why would you wanna do this when you can manage them in your phone? Well, this is gonna allow us to connect contacts to everything else that we are doing within Notion, and I think that that is a great use of Notion. Um, not only can I connect a contact to an interaction because I track my interactions in Notion, um, but I can also, uh, you know, connect it with calendar items, stuff like that. Uh, one of the things that I decided to utilize this for was just to be more mindful of the people in my life and make it easier for me to remember different things such as birth dates and, you know, how long has it been since I've connected with this person and everything like that. So what you're looking at is my contact database template. This is essentially the same thing that I built out for myself and I'm making it available in a template form for you. If you wanna download that or add it to Notion, you can use the link in the description below to get that. Uh, or you can follow along and build something like this for yourself. Uh, also, if you wanna learn how to create databases like this and connect them and really make a system for yourself in Notion, my Notion Mastery course is linked down in the description below. It's a fantastic course at a reasonable cost that's gonna teach you how to do all of these things and really just become a pro at Notion. So this is a contacts database. It's a simple page uh, database. So it's a table database, nothing special, nothing crazy here. Uh, but just a simple database with fields. So what we have is two entries, and you can see here it, I just use the name, and it's their first and last name, and uh, so I can size this down just a little bit. I have a, a multi-select, and in this multi-select, I can choose from some different areas in, in which this person is associated to me. So maybe this person is a family member and also a coworker. I can tag them in a couple of different areas. And so that way I can view my contacts by the different area that I'm connected or the different ways that I'm connected with that person. Uh, we'll talk about this status here for a second because it's kind of a cool feature that makes it very noticeable when I haven't connected with that person in a while. Last updated, this is the automatic last updated or last edited date. Uh, for me, this status right here of a thumbs up means that within the last 30 days, I have at least interacted with this person's entry here. And that means opening up uh, their contact and making a change to it somehow. And the reason that I get a thumbs up is because it's been the last 30 days. If I haven't connected with this person in the last 30 days, that changes from a thumbs up to a red stop sign. And then that lets me know that I need to connect with that person or at least go into their contact entry and, uh, and, and say something, add in something, reach out to them, whatever. It just notifies me or gives me a visual representation of the fact that I haven't connected with that person. So this status is actually a formula property. And if I look at the formula, you can see it is if date between now, property last updated, days 30, uh, if, it's, if it's greater than 30, then red stop sign. Otherwise, thumbs up. And so I could change that. Maybe 30 days is a little too often for you. You can change that number to 90 days. Uh, this property is coming in the template. So if you install this template, the property's already there. All you have to do is come in here and change that three to a nine or a six or whatever you wanna do and hit done. And then this will only turn to a red stop sign if this date is more than 60 days uh, from the current date of today. So I then have an email field here, a phone number field, a date of birth, and that's all that I've really filled out in this template. You can add additional properties for additional items that you want to have in this contacts database. And then when I click and I go in here, I can see for you know this fake entry for, for Jim that we have the association here, we have the date of birth, we have the email, the last updated, phone and status, and I can kind of drag these around and, uh, and put them in the order that I want them to be in. 
and then I can add in any additional information into the page. I might add like, you know, information that I've learned about him, like what's his wife's name, what's their anniversary, uh, you know, what are some things that he enjoys or what are some things that he and I have talked about. Like I might kind of create a journal entry down here below for just the the things that uh, I have in common or that we've discussed. So that way when, you know, Jim and I hang out in the future, I can quickly revisit those things because it's hard for us to remember all of those things top of mind, you know, we might not remember his wife's name, we might not remember, you know, some important stuff, maybe, you know, we're getting coffee with him, but like his anniversary is the day after or something like that, or maybe it just happened. And those are things that it's like, personally, I want to be more mindful of those things and be able to um, be aware of those things. And, uh, you know, it just helps show a person that I care enough to remember those things. And because our minds are what they are, we need a tool like this to be able to remember those things. So these, these two sample entries here should be enough to definitely get you going. Um, you can create this really easily. As I said, I just kind of walk you through all these properties and showed you everything that is in this contacts database. I tie in my contacts database with a lot of other areas in Notion. I tie contacts in with my interactions log. I uh, tie those in with tasks and other projects and stuff like that. And so my contacts database ties in to a lot of areas. You know, when I'm filling out my daily log entry for the day, if I'm thinking of, if I was thinking of somebody that day that's in my contacts database, I will tag them in that, uh, in that daily log. And then when I go and look at their entry here, I can see all the daily logs in which that person was mentioned. And so you, you can see what I'm getting at. Like we're creating this really cool like second brain ecosystem here that makes it easy for us to uh, to remember things that happen throughout the day. We're also busy. Things come into the mind and out of the mind. And if we're not tracking them to some extent, then we're forgetting and missing opportunities to connect with others. So that's why I use a contacts database. Now, there is a way to automate a little bit of this process of getting new contacts in. Most of the time, you know, we meet someone, we get somebody's information, we're on our phone, we put them in as a contact. Now, you can actually connect Zapier to Notion and whatever tool it is that you use for contacts, say you're using Google and, you know, your contacts are syncing to Google, uh, then you can connect Google Contacts to Notion, and when a new contact is entered into your phone, it then syncs through Zapier to Notion and enters in the new contact. Now, I tried that, and I don't have it hooked up that way because I didn't want every single contact that I put in my phone to show up in Notion. I wanted to manually do that, and so I manually enter in my contacts uh, you know, I just make a note so that I remember to do that and I manually enter my contacts into my contacts database instead of having everything because then you create a contact for like, you know, your favorite pizza place and now it's in, you know, it's in your Notion contacts database. And so, you know, it's, it's just one of those things where automation isn't perfect. It definitely is, is uh, getting closer. Um, but you know, utilizing Zapier isn't necessarily a win in every scenario. So contacts database available for you as a template in the description below. Definitely go get it. And if you have any questions about it, ask in the comment section. Other than that, that is it. Click that subscribe button on the channel so that you can get notified when we put out new videos. And I'll see you back here soon on the Notion Pro. Take care.